Okay. So let's do another problem. What if we have same idea, but this time I'm going to put something right after the 16. So 4x squared minus 16y squared. Okay. So now that we're kind of getting the idea, I'm just going to kind of go a little quick, a little quicker now. Okay. This 4 is 2 squared. Bring down my x squared. Bring down the minus. That's 4 squared. y squared is y squared. Combine this. 2x quantity squared. Bring down the minus. 4y quantity squared. Set up my parentheses. Now, 2x here, 2x here, 4y, 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 and now plus minus. And there you go. Okay, now what if the first term is just a number? like 49 minus, let's just say, 16 q squared. No biggie. 49 is basically 7 squared minus 16 can be written as 4 squared. q squared is just q squared. Then I'm going to simplify the 4 squared q squared. So this is going to be 7 quantity squared minus 4 q quantity squared set up my parentheses. This is going to be 7 here, 7 here. Okay, I'm taking what's in the parent in the first term, just copying it down. What's in the parentheses in the first term, just copying it down. One in each binomial. And then the 4q, write that here, 4q, and then plus minus. Okay? Um, now, I've been using the same numbers over and over again. That's only because I want you to get this in your head. You see, you have to do it a whole bunch of times for you to just get it. And the point is, tomorrow morning, this should just be perfect, okay? And that's, that's my goal. So let's do something different. Let's, let's spice it up a little bit. Let's say, for instance, we had 25a squared, b squared, minus... Uh, let's just see, uh, how about 36c squared. Okay, uh, simple. This 25 can be written as 5 squared. Bring down the a squared. Got my b squared there. Bring down the minus sign. 36 can be written as 6 squared. c squared is just there, c squared. Now I'm going to combine this. 5a, they're all squared, right? So I could just write the 5, the a, and the b together. 5a and the b together and square it. Minus, bring down the minus sign. You got your 6 squared, c squared, so you can just bring the 6 and the c together and square it. Now, this 5ab is kind of big, so we're going to need bigger set of parentheses just to fit it all in. So what's in the first what's in the parentheses of the first term that's getting squared? It's the 5ab. 5ab. So I'm copying it down. Okay, so I'm putting it here, and I'm putting it here. Now, the 6c goes in both of them, uh, both this binomial here and this binomial here, 6c, 6c. Okay, and now, what do I got? Minus or plus, plus or minus, doesn't make a difference. It really doesn't matter. And there you go. So basically, to kind of recap, um, what I did was I went over the basic form, okay, and I gave you an example of uh, a concept you need to be aware of when you're doing these problems. Um, over here we covered simple problem. I put a coefficient in front of the, the first term. Then I added some more variables here. I added another variable to the second term. Here I took out the variable in the first term and I replaced it with just a number so that way you see it this way. And this one here, this last one, is just kind of a monstrosity. It's just a little bit of everything. But don't be afraid of numbers that look like this, you know, like, uh, you know, 144, that's just 12 squared, you know, or 121, that's 11 squared. So just um, make sure you know your, uh, your, squ your squares, and that'll really help out a lot. As a matter of fact, you should make a table of squares and memorize your table of squares from 1 to 20. I guarantee it's really going to help you out a lot for these particular problems here. Um, okay, so I'll cover something a little more difficult later on, but for the most part, this should get you going so that way you can, you know, 
you know, you'll be able to uh, answer whatever homework problems you have. This is very important though. Difference of squares is extremely important later on, okay? So I suggest you really know what you're, you're really good at it. And this should be like writing your name. You just don't even think about it, okay? Uh, you'll see this later on in every single math that you take after this. Uh, in trig especially, it'll come in really handy, okay? So anyway, uh, good luck with your homework and tests in the future, and thank you for watching.